as you mentioned, yes, you don't want your hand and your wrist um, be the leader of your arm. Just like in the past, you know, in the hun- a century ago, people realized that playing just with fingers was the smallest part of your arm and put all the pressure on that and let the fingers, you know, lead the way is not the correct approach. Yeah, can harm your hand. Then people start talking about, you know, you know Taubman approach, you know, rotation and stuff. It's all one thing, while one unit played from your hand. But if you go further, uh, you actually want to play from one of the biggest parts, right? You want the biggest part of your arm to lead the smallest part. So you always need to be aware of your shoulder, upper arm, and elbow, what they're doing first. And actually, at the end, when you play on stage, it's actually the main focus and the main awareness you should keep because actually that's the part that gets the most tense because of the stress and anxiety and fear. We really freeze here. Um, So yes, it's correct. Um, Elbow leads the way. But um, another problem that we have that leads to tension in the wrist and hand is to keep in a stretched position. So with elbow, we're able to actually close our hand <clears throat> and not to keep it in a stretch position. But this related a little bit more to the next topic when we're going to discuss about uh, identify, identifying positions and finding the right position nodes where uh, what we achieve with that, our wrist is in a closed position, ideally one, two, three, four, five nodes, not bigger than six, and it's in the right alignment. It doesn't have strange angles um, relatively to the rest of the arm. This is the purpose of elbow to make our the make to make the life of our wrist and hand a little bit easier. <laughs> and technically, yes, it also helps to navigate the jumps. Again, why? Because if we jump just with our hand, with with, with which part, this part, this creates a, a lot of tension. We feel sort of locked in. And in jumps, we really want good amplitude. We want fast and free movement. Uh, even if it's a small one, if we are stiff here, it takes a lot of mm-hmm. effort and time to reach the note. And so usually we just, don't really live correctly. <laughs> yeah, I, in this, when I saw this lesson in the, the book, I was like, oh my God, I never did a jump really well because when you sit, the thing about the head of the movement being your hand, mm-hmm. I immediately was identified because I was like, yeah, it's, it's like that that I do, like my hand is moving and my elbow and then I started to doing like that when I am sitting in the chicken piano dance, dance, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh it's so uh, tense and I'm not even playing I'm just sitting in front of the piano 